Hi, I'm Chelsea. And I'm Tony Northrup. And today we're going to be talking about the differences between beauty dishes and soft boxes. This is a beauty dish, and as you can see, it has a reflector here that the light bounces off, hits the walls of the beauty dish, and then equally distributes the light back onto your subject. It's a harder light, but it's still very flattering. This is a soft box. It's big and huge compared to the beauty dish. It's also kind of clumsy. This in particular is an octo box, has eight sides, so it provides more of a similar catch light to this, but many soft boxes are just square. In fact, one of the biggest differences between these is just going to be the catch light that you get in the eyes. But the other big difference is the quality of the light. Soft box, as the name indicates, is soft. It has these diffusers inside of it. Two separate layers of diffusion in this particular model. The light comes through, hits this, bounces against the inside, and then hits this, and then bounces out in every single direction. When a photographer describes light as diffuse, it means it's coming and hitting the subject from many different directions at one point. So when the light hits this front surface, by the time it gets here, some light's gonna go straight, some is gonna go over here, and in fact, this entire surface will be bouncing light in every single direction. So if a subject is here, light's gonna be hitting them from here and here and here. It will fill their entire face with light kind of eliminating shadows, in fact, if it's close to the subject. That's the biggest difference between the softbox and the beauty dish. The beauty dish is designed to show some shadows. Those shadows can accentuate the cheekbones, and that's why we call it a beauty dish, because it can make somebody look beautiful. The softbox will eliminate imperfections in the skin, but it also can tend to hide the shadows in the face. Both can make soft light or hard light depending on how they're used and the distance to the subject, however. Chels, when would you pick the beauty dish over the softbox? Uh, well, we used the beauty dish during our last shoot because we wanted the cheekbones to ex be accentuated. I wanted some drama in the picture and I wanted some deep shadows. I didn't want it to look just soft and kind of washed out. So I prefer this when I'm adding some drama to a picture. Yeah, for me, I'll pick the softbox whenever I need to light a group. Or if I'm lighting a kid and he might be moving around because the softbox lights an entire area, whereas the beauty dish needs to be used in a very controlled and deliberate right. it's fashion. It's more focused, so I wouldn't use it for a large group or a subject that's moving around a lot. But if I know my model can sit still and be in the light, then I love using the beauty dish. Yeah, and if we go on location, well, I'd much rather have the beauty dish just because it's smaller, but it still provides a flattering light. The, the softbox is difficult to work with, and in the wind, it acts like a big sale. This softbox and other softboxes will collapse. It's collapsible, so yeah. So they can actually become much smaller than you see here. Um, but at the same time, setting it up can be a little bit time consuming. So, Chelsea, you want to show them a couple of sample pictures? Sure. It's a strike a pose room, Chelsea. Using just a single light here lets us see exactly the light the beauty dish is producing and it's making a very dramatic light with deep shadows that really accentuate Chelsea's cheekbones and casts a nice shadow underneath her chin. As you can see, we positioned it pretty close to her, right on axis with the camera, and pointed down a little bit. I find this to be the most flattering angle. Even if it's off axis, if it's off to the side, I usually like to have the model looking into the light. I don't like the beauty dish off the axis of the model's face a little bit. So I'll move over here, Chels, and just to show you from the side, and you keep pointing into the light, just kind of work the light for me. Of course, if those shadows are too deep for you, you just add a little bit of fill. Usually wouldn't use any single light by itself, but rather add multiple lights together. So now let's look at the softbox. There you go. It's so easy to use. You think you can do this better? Yeah. Okay. Show me how it's done, Master. Okay. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> wow. Awesome. <laughs> this is really, it's more fun than it looks. This is so fun and. It's not on there yet, though. You gotta push it down into the top completely. All right, so. Are you, you feel like you're done? Yeah. Push it all the way down. 
and then you have to screw it in. Man, I'd rather focus the Sony. Because now we have to get this thing on that. You got that side? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just one. Yeah, I guess I can. This is why you need two people yeah. in your team. Okay. And as you can see, it's much heavier than the beauty dish, which is why it's killing my boom. Ugh. Ah, the pleasures of a softbox. I'm not against softboxes, but... They yeah. are harder. Now lift. Okay. That's as high as it goes. So, that was easy. Switching from a beauty dish to a softbox, I need to up the light output because the softbox is much less efficient because it's bouncing so much light around. So probably need a couple stops more light. There we go. You'll see a lot of differences in the pictures that have nothing to do with it being a beauty dish or a softbox. So much of it is the distance of the light to the subject and the size of the light source, as well as of course the model's expression, how she's holding her head, and all that tends to matter more. For me, the biggest difference between the beauty dish and the softbox is just ease of use. Beauty dish is much easier, but the softbox, better for large groups. If you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, share with your friends, and check out our books if you want to learn actual photographic techniques, including how to do portraits and to shoot in a studio. Stunning digital photography, the Lightroom training book if you want to learn how to use the best post-processing software, and of course, my photography buying guide. Thanks. Of course, my photography buying guide. Check you later. Check you later. <laughs> Check you later. Stay cool. Be cool, stay in school. Bark the on, dudes. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Peace out, bro. Bye. I hate all of these. I don't know what to say now. I'm all in my head about it. I can't just naturally say goodbye. <laughs>